Grand Rising, my friends. Welcome back. The market's red. You know how it goes. <laughs> if you're new, hola. Uh, where do we start? Look, hey, it's a little bit better than it was. Earlier, so hey, moving in the right direction. Bitcoin at forty six thousand nine hundred. That went down eighteen percent at one point. It was at fifty two yesterday. Now down to ninety seven. I'm sorry, forty seven thousand. Forty six thousand nine hundred seven dollars. Ethereum at three thousand four hundred fifty seven. Cardano two thousand fifty cents. Binance four hundred fifteen dollars. XRP at a dollar thirteen. Solana is still going. The only one going up over the week is at one hundred and seventy-two dollars and forty-one cents. Doge at twenty-five cents. I mean, the market, you know, it had almost doubled in the past month. So a little bit of a pullback is always healthy. That's how I see it. Time to jump into a lot of projects if you have not been. And the ETH continues to burn. So in the last hour. 331 ethereum total 234,412 ethereum has burned since the implementation of the eip 1159 or maybe uh, missed up the, the code but it's the uh, eip ethereum improvement project so things to keep on will uh, i believe uh, stocks today I think Nasdaq was up slightly, but the Dow, yeah. Uh, so over here we can look, because now we have all of this as well. The Dow was down by 0.76%. S&P was down 0.34. Nasdaq was up 0.07, so not much. Over time, Apple had a pretty good day. We can see here up two, almost uh Almost up 2%, well, 1.5%. Facebook was up. Intel was up. Downs the day. 3M had a bad day. Honeywell. So some of the bigger companies. Tesla also had a good day. So yeah, a lot of electronics and stock and growth, you can see, did well today. I wonder what that portends for the market. We will have to see. But they are blocking us on <laughs> or here. So, but I have it. I can read it from my phone. So I'll just kind of summarize some of the things they're talking about in here. How to retire. They won't even let me scroll in that screen. But that's not no problem. So it's just basically they're they're giving some examples of individuals if you have not saved up so in their examples the individuals were in their early 50s had uh not that much in savings in terms of where they want to be and i think one of our later stories that may be tomorrow we'll talk somewhat about that as well but they were just saying how do they how do they get to how can they within a 10 years time get up to a million dollars and then live off the dividends of that million. And it's about saving, paying down expenses, cutting your budget, the things we talk about a lot. So I think it was some things um, I wanted to read to you said, okay, here. A million dollars is simply a milestone. If you're a di diligent saver and investor, the first time you hit a million dollar mark in retirement savings, it's an important achievement. That said, a million dollars is not the same as that used to be two decades ago. In the early 2000s, most financial planners used to agree that a million dollars was more than enough to have a comfortable retirement with a high middle class living. However, most planners would now advise shooting for $2 million to have a comfortable retirement. Due to inflation, $1 in the year 2000 is only worth 64 cents today. Even with that basis, now you would need over 1.5 million to maintain the same standard of living as you could afford with $1 million in 2000. 
I thought that was pretty impactful. And they talked about, and a lot of this assuming that you will, in the words assumptions, that you'll be able to, for the vast majority of people, Social Security and Medicaid play an important financial role in their retirement planning. And so that talks about what years you could take in, how much that may impact it. So that depends on when you can retire. Um, and they were just setting up a plan where these individuals would save and get money and then put a lot of their investments in in investments that were paying off dividends. And so they were saying, how, how do they estimate for a test? a very long article, but you probably can Google it. Here's the, the title here. Like I said, um, for whatever reason, I'm able to see it on my phone, but here, they want me to log in, and that's not going to happen. And they just are saying, look, you may have to plan to live in your 90s. You never know. And medical expenses, so trying to calculate how much that may be at the end. If you know it may be too risky to pull out your, your money in the S&P 500 or any other set of index funds, mainly because in the investment world, 10 years is not a very long time frame, and our portfolio will be subject to the risk of the sequence of returns. So what is an, an alternative? Say we suggest a portfolio with two buckets, preferably three, that will greatly reduce the risk of sequential return. A DGI bucket, a rotational risk adjusted portfolio, the DGI bucket 45%, the rotational risk adjusted portfolio, 45%, and 10% into a growth bucket. This could be replaced with the CEF based income bucket after retirement. So, remember that you want to have a DGI portfolio. So, if you're a passive investment, create a portfolio of dividend ETFs. However, if you're not if an active, you should have a DJI portfolio of individual stocks. Say the is for fund fees. So there's a portfolio of 20 stocks and it has the big ones in there like Lockheed Martin, Pepsi, Clorox, 3M, which is discussed when didn't have such a good day today, but Home Depot, Texas Instruments, so those type and rotational risk portfolio. In this strategy, invest only two securities, Invesco's QQQ, which is an ETF, and iShares 20-year Treasury ETF, TLH, which is a big, you know, debt. So you got one that's more looking at stocks and growth of companies, another one looking at buying the debt of companies. Okay, so those are the two big giant strategies they use, and the growth bucket then is optional. We believe it's to allocate small into uh, growth strategies, whatever that may be. So here, you know, we talk a lot about what that may be. Our growth strategies, we look at being, could be at that point, the, the cryptocurrencies and the crypto assets, I think is a better way of thinking of instead of even the currencies, because now you, you think of NFTs, these contracts, they're more of assets than everything just being a currency and i know it's just you know trying to understand the space and figuring out crypto may not be the word we use in the future so but that's a little bit about when you how to get up to a certain point get your money built up we talk about that a lot what do you do with it then how do you maintain and beat inflation and so these type of investment strategies they're looking at a bit of a little bit of growth but a lot of value versus risk management to preserve wealth. Oh man, I'm jumping straight in. I'm, yeah, yeah. let me, this is like the second time where I've done this where we didn't talk about that positivity. And that positivity being someone that you love in your life, reach out in the comment section and say, hey, I could have just tried to send a message to you through telepathy, but no. I decided to type this out and send it to you to really show you how much I care. And then they can look back and really appreciate the hard work and they go out and find other people that they can inspire. So, you know, let's say pay it forward and backwards in all direction way. China created more billionaires than the U.S. Now is cracking down. We, we've been talking about it in, in and here. The they speculate that the reason why they're cracking down is to show that they are now looking for the common prosperity with this slogan of common prosperity was hardly new among Chinese leaders. Xi's speechless 
month was the starkest contrast of his apparent plan for a reshaped society. Xi Jinping. I have to say it from the beginning and I can say Xi. So Xi. President Xi. Communist China has relentlessly pursued economic growth for decades, creating more billionaires than the United States and lifting 800 million people out of, out of poverty, but leaving 6 million more to live on $150 US a month equivalent. So now they are looking to reshape the society by cracking down on the country's newly minted super rich and redistributing wealth more evenly among the population. Things are happening that we don't know about in China. Like I've been saying that because a lot of these changes. So like I said here, China's government is aware that both domestic and international audiences are watching. This is an opportunity to portray itself as a forward thinking government that cares about its citizens, including those near the bottom of wealth distribution. As part of the Communist Party's sweeping vision for the future, the government has enforced a regulatory crackdown against Chinese tech giants that have sent Western financial markets in a spin. And they have not lied about that. But, you know, and also, okay, yeah, I'm glad they talked about, yeah. I knew they talked about this, but I'm glad it was right next as I was thinking. That they talked about how they're limiting video games. They used to limit now video games to the weekend for children. Now they're saying three hours maximum per week. One hour on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Are they allowed to play video games? And they are, quote unquote, looking for effeminate male ro celebrities and, and banning them? Trying to stamp out a fan culture in which teenagers blindly idolize celebrities. But it's even deeper than that. It's, it's you, we, you need to be like, you know, kind of how we always accused in America of being the... Um, the the what's what's the term masculine hyper masculinity toxic masculinity or yeah toxic toxic masculinity hyper masculinity or anything you wanted to say sorry for being a man that mentality um <laughs> that they are saying oh no we're stamping anything out that's not that because you know you can look at it different ways are they they preparing themselves to go to war with other countries in the future and they feel like they want their citizens to be willing to suffer for a greater goal. I'm, I'm kind of kind of stumped on what would be the other option. <laughs> um, unless they just really feel like they just, hey, we, we see it as being Western, um, anything like that, and we just don't want anything Western. Could be. So they also talk about, you know, there are some problems with their threats towards Taiwan, their aggressive expansion in the South China Sea. I'm putting a quote, 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 fingers up as I'm saying this, as well as the oppression of the minority group of the Uyghurs, maybe mispronouncing that if I haven't said it already and I hadn't. If you haven't heard it, he says the first time you're I'm not your advisor ever, 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 ever. Not your advisor. I am not your advisor in health matters, in financial matters, in matters of the spiritual realm. It were in um, uh, uh, orbital mechanics or whatever it may be. I am not your advisor. So. But in here it talks about that, you know, a lot of these companies that they're here are tightening grip on and it's oh it's in, on Hong Kong, what they've been doing in Hong Kong, left that out. And it's treatment of the Uyghur. I think that's how you pronounce that word. I gotta look that up. Muslims. Yeah, the crack and the tech giants have bent the knee and they have rushed to give money. Tencent has given fifteen billion for a raft of initiatives. Alibaba has pledged a similar amount. Of course, I mean, you know, it's a lot of corruption in China. Supposedly, uh, Xi Jinping cracked down on that. You know, they did mint the most billionaires. We, we, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 
it's a lot. So what do, how do we feel about that? We'll keep an eye. China has been playing an interesting game. But they always play the long game. I've always told people that America thinks on the next quarter, the next three months, and what will go happen? What will happen? China thinking on the next thousand years, and you know you could definitely miss the forest for the trees if you are not thinking on a longer, more grand timeline as well. So and that's what we do here. We try to think on a thousand year billion year uh time span i know that's a big range between those two but you know that gives you a lot of options in between imagine if the <laughs> <laughs> imagine you yeah you know and let's say technology advances so crazily that you know we live for 150, 200, 300 years, right? Most people in, these, in this generation now, we get it so we can put our health in a good place, our minds in a good place, and that's just the, the, the limits of technology. Then at that point, you can decide to go off into the algorithms and, and live on like that if you choose or not. You know, become, it's choice, true choice. You, you know, whatever people do, that's on them. But in that time, we created a device to let you see in the future, million years a billion years <laughs> and you can even see down your timeline and, and how your impact is and you get to see what that looks like imagine if i just just i don't want to say this well you know hey creation goes as long as the creator wanted it to but what this will look like humanity a thousand years ten thousand years hundred thousand years in the future where we are now amazing so that's the things I look forward to and are excited about and I get dragged down into all the negativity about things in life. Speaking of which, the SEC, the Security Exchange Commission, refuses to produce documents related to employees, XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum holdings. They are trying to fight this in court. The latest update regarding the ongoing Ripple versus United States Security and Exchange Commission lawsuit that SEC opposed Ripple's motion compelling it to reveal SEC employees XRP holdings citing the privacy of his employees the SEC requested that the court deny the defendant's motion added the because it seemed to make more sense although Ripple has filed a motion with the presiding court with presiding court okay maybe that's how I said to compel the SEC to to disclose its employees XRP holdings as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum trade information, the blockchain firm has asked for the said information and a little, 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 little anonymous, anonymized, anonymized documents or aggregate form. So in other words, we are asking for this information. It's very personal. We understand that. But you are able to subtract any personal information from it. We just want to see an aggregate, a understanding of what your employees are doing in terms of the cryptocurrency market as well as making rulings on the cryptocurrency market uh, in essence the document clarified that the pre-clearance by the ethics council was not an indicator of whether the transaction complied with securities law so it would be irrelevant to the case. It is vital to note that the Ethics Council, quote unquote, confirmed it had not placed XRP, Bitcoin or Ether under its prohibited holdings list. However, XRP was under its watch list. I don't know. Yeah, the SRC is just saying, arguing that producing this employees trading information would be an unjustified intrusion. How so? How's, uh, uh, how? I, explain. The sensitive data is collected by the Office of Ethics Council, the Office of Ethics Council, Ethics Council, for purposes of ensuring SEC employees compliance with ethical rules intended to prevent conflicts of interest, not to determine whether any particular transaction complies with securities law. And that's not the question. I think the question is ethical. Are they? How are they making decisions on cases where they have a, a state uh, interest? Hmm. Interesting. We will keep an eye on SEC's motions against XRP and Ripple. 
the company Ripple and XRP the coin and how that would how that would view is if <sighs> we know it's a dirty cold game out here. But just when you see it, it just it's 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 better like can y'all can y'all not pull the wool over my eyes? It's like seeing a bad magician. <laughs> It's just insulting for me to be able to figure out your tricks. What can you buy with Bitcoin today? Almost anything. I have a very, Chappelle has, a, Dave Chappelle has a great line about what can you buy with Disney dollars, Disney bucks that I always tell people when they offer me something stupid. I'll be like, oh, you know, this reminds me of the Chappelle joke. You know, it's very, it's very inappropriate. So you can go look it up for yourself, but... I imagine one day I'd be on here just be raw like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the, the way I normally am. But cryptocurrency is not the most stable of investments. For traditional minded investors, buying stocks or real estate might be the best way to multiply as one's wealth. Yeah, we understand that. So blah 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 lots of Bitcoin's good article. Go back and read. You can buy a car, probably not a Tesla. You could probably get one if you want still, even with Tesla, you got enough money. But you could buy definitely buy cars. You, if you go to the right dealership, you can get almost any luxury car brand. They have Bugattis, McLarens, Brig Lamborghinis, and you can pay in crypto and other cryptocurrencies as well. So your S coins that you have, maybe you can even dump those bags for a car. But listen, you know, this past year cars were appreciating assets. That's usually not the case. They're de they, 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 for the most part, they depreciate. You get a collector's one, right one, yeah, it can appreciate. You know, that's a, it's almost like art in that way. The car in that terms, as opposed to just a vehicle of transport. You can buy real estate, which is like we talked about, one way where you make enough money and just to diversify your your and that's Never had, I mean, some people are going to just go all in on one thing. They probably not. They probably also have nothing, but they just completely ignore because they're so focused on the, the one that's making them the most money and all in on. But diversify as you start to build up your capital, your assets. You want to have a variety of different things from real estate, stocks, uh you know, art, like I've always said, it's, it's, it's many things you can find that will go up in time that will make you money. Precious metals, you know, but kind of throw them in with stocks in a way. But no, you can just physical precious metals. Well, hey, I've always said guns and ammunitions <laughs> are smart to have as well. Oh, yeah, to protect all those other things, but also. You can barter and sell them as well if necessary. Uh, you can talk about here buying clothes, food, VPN, web-based services, vacations. There's a lot you can do. You can even buy gold and other precious metals with Bitcoin now, artwork. So a lot of these things we talked about, you can take and, and, and feed them into each other. Whatever you, if you're making money on, once you have enough, then say, hey, you know what? I, you know, I'm sitting here and didn't think I had this, but you, you're right. I do get this money from uh, this investment home that someone's paying rent on. Maybe I'll take part of that and start buying some of these cryptos or looking into uh, the stock market. You know, taking it and just diversify, learn new things. It's all the same principles about buying at a good price and selling that a better one <laughs> so hey i'm gonna think i'm gonna make that a a, a, a steal that make that a slogan i'm stealing it for myself but it came up buy at a good price and sell it a better one so at the end of the day that's what everything is isn't it let's be real ethereum to be global computer bigger than amazon web services azul and google combined that's bold words, isn't it? So is this guy CEO of Yefi? I don't even know what yeah, I haven't even I'm like a lie and say I've heard of Yefi. I have to look up Yefi. But he's talking big. It's a global computer. It'd be bigger than those three we just talked about. Here we talked, yeah, the it, Ethereum Proven Pro Proposal 1559. What did I say? 21559 was changed and made now ETH deflationary. That's why they're burning ETH and the price is going to get astronomical at some point. And that's 
you know, it sucks with the gas prices as you start to get into this NFT market. That's why a lot of people are on Solana and Cardano NFTs because of the Ethereum gas prices. But don't get it twisted. Ethereum NFTs are going to, this is still the very beginning. So just, even if you just start, we'll talk about, we'll go through a little bit. Every day we're going to start doing a little bit new other stuff. But at the end, just dip your toes in. Just just even if you just start learning and figuring things out. And I'm going to show you a way you can get in there super easy if you have any Ethereum in a MetaMask wallet. Ethereum will become the world's computer. Especially even more significant changes are expected when ETH 2.0 is released, likely by the end of the year. According to the CEO, as a result of sharding, the Ethereum network will be used much more cost effectively, lowering transaction costs and substantially increasing transaction speed, saving a lot of money. So ETH is a big giant computer. Sweet. But it's settled, though. Bitcoin is the future. Bitcoin has won the battle of currencies, fiat or digital. Make it the, make it a superior asset. It's about energy, and this is talked about how they just basically still. Uh, Michael Saylor has been saying for uh, the past over a year or so about how his energy is 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 energy in motion to build is staggering when it's finished. Anyone can send cash to anybody else for almost no cost. Transactions complete, validated on the Bitcoin blockchain, which acts as a global financial ledger without the need for intermediaries. There are no more fees to pay when sending Bitcoin. Uh oh, they said Bitcoins across borders. So you're paying a fee to use an intermediary service that will strip your IP address from each transaction metadata. Okay. Also talking about how Bitcoin has unleashed the Earth's potential energy, hidden energy potential, because now, like we talked a little bit yesterday about how they were just letting that methane gas vent off or burn it off. Now we're taking that wasted energy and potential energy and now converting it into something useful. Because that Bitcoin used to mine that Bitcoin there is powers the network and you're not able to, it's unnecessary necessarily to have other Bitcoin as for quote unquote more dirty um, production elsewhere. But, you know, people will use whatever they can to mine Bitcoin. So until we have the technology to make it just cheaper to use very green sources, which is solar, um, hydroelectric, geothermal, wind in, in ways that are less you know like I said like using it the, that, that methane they were burning off anyway versus um, in my eyes I don't you know like I said I don't know look to see if it, people really truly see it as that um, yeah yeah if you make it cheaper they'll, they'll come so anyway just saying that Bitcoin is the world's most computer, secure computer network. Now 12 years old, never been a successful hack of Bitcoin. Greater than, you know, not, and even a 51% of the attack is not a hack. It's just you control the network. But going there and just like, boom, breaking the code itself. Get out of here, kid. Get out of here, kid. And it's decentralized. So it's a 1 million one trillion sorry is that million one trillion treasure trove one trillion treasure trove that the majority of the world doesn't have access to you however do no no true words have been spoken so let's get back into our nft talk so today your boy learned about fractional nfts you can go here to this fractional nft and explore the vault. Wait, where's the one? I want to go to the big one. Explore. This is the Doge NFT, which is now worth an implied evaluation of 281 million. So what does this mean? You can come in here and say, oh, wait, is this not a. OK, yeah. So. They say that this Doge is worth, this NFT is worth $281 million, implied valuation. And 
we're able, it has a total supply of almost, what's that, 17 billion Doge? You know, a bunch of six nines. <laughs> they so stupid. But uh, almost 17 billion uh, of dog coin, what they call a dog coin, okay? So if you came here and said, I want to buy 0.1 ETH. You can buy fractions. You can buy it out. You can spend 281 million in Ethereum and buy this. Or you can buy a fraction and get 21,061 dog coin. Estimated fees would be the uh, $314 and blah, blah, blah. So you can buy fractions, basically fractions of famous NFTs, like for example, they got Ether Rocks here, or say, oh look, a CryptoPunk, House of Halley. You can buy part of House of Halley. Point one will get you one point two three. So Halley has only total supply of seventy three thousand five hundred. So they went with a really low supply of these, and its estimated value now is at about ten million. So about 3,000, I'm sorry, yeah, about 3,000 Ethereum. And this applied evaluation is at 6 million. So, well, that's not good. It's probably less than what it is, right? A 10 ETH, apply evaluation ETH. So, but what you can do is say, come here and say, well, it's more than one. Crypto Punk, which one should I look at to put my money behind? This Crypto Punk or here they got the Board Ape Yacht Club. They have a series of 16 NFTs. So they have eight Board Ape Yacht Club apes plus eight of their dogs that came out with them. So I'm guessing there was an airdrop of dogs that came with uh, if you had an ape at the time. So you can sit here and buy part of the Board Ape Yacht Club on fractional NFTs. So long story short, somebody has an NFT, they take and make a contract with their NFT and say, I'm now going to use this as the basis of my token. So they create a token on the fact that they own that NFT and there you go. There you go. And so you can see the valuations of the Doge NFT is 283 million this one nft of a crypto punk 12 million these ether rocks 5 million these crypto punks two of them together 2.64 million so you can come here and buy pieces of these so if they go up over time it's like buying a piece of you know let's get real a piece of you know, a, a Monet or Rembrandt. <laughs> I know people are gonna be bad about that, but you know, it's the art in the in the game now. Don't be mad. Don't 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 hate the hate the um, player, hate the game. So yes, you can go in there and buy parts of. So do that. I would say go in there buy parts of a crypto punk, buy parts of some uh, board ape yacht clubs. Those could be big in Ethereum for years. Well, I'm not saying do anything. This ain't financial advice. But if you you was doing things and you was thinking about it. Maybe there will be something you would think about doing. Now, here are the Cardano, Cardano NFTs, but you can go in here and, you know, pay money to start buying them. Or you can say, look here at when CNFT, W-E-N-C-N-F-T dot com. You can find out when, for example, let's find something that's out today. What's today? The 7th. Seventh, so seventh, these came out sticks. Let's go see if sticks are still minting on Cardano. Sale is over. Oh, I guess they must have sold out. Gotta get them their credits. Let's go here to cats. Six o'clock. I don't know if it's what's time to out of check. So cats series two out of stock. Out of stock. Okay, okay, okay. This ain't looking good right now. I'm trying to show y'all something and everything is getting on my nerves. All right, 
right, so let's go back. Something I didn't sell. Let's look for something I didn't sell, guys. Okay, I want to move this direction. No. No. All right, this is messing with me now. Okay, I see you there. Oh, maybe that's the end. I've never seen that before. All right. What I'm going to show you is that you can mint these for a lot less than what you'll buy them for on the in the markets. You just got to find these are the new projects that are coming out. So you got to find like this project right here. Very important dummies. I'm trying to jump in on this. You see 142 people are getting excited about this and it comes out September 10th. So I'm looking to jump in on that. Now I'm just trying to see if there's anything today that I can just show you what it look like when you go there and try to mint something. Um, okay, this was, maybe this is not sold out yet, but I'm not gonna buy this, I'm just gonna show you. So you go here, you can see I picked the selected, went to its website, then I'm gonna get my NFT, look to see the rounds, they have, for 75 Cardano, they have 57 available. So I go here and I say, you can pick how many you wanna get. And I'm saying, well, I don't know if I can change that. One, reserve NFT. Send exactly 75 ADA to the address below, but only with Dallas Euro. Blah, blah, blah. So they got me, a, I could copy it and then send that to from my uh, euro to this and get a NFT from these people for 75 ADA if I wanted to. And so same thing, we go here to OpenSea, which is Ethereum. And so Cardano is very new and don't look all well yet, but let's look here on OpenSea. And you can see that Gambling Apes official, okay? Click on them. The floor for them is 0.29 Ethereum. That's what the lowest they're going for right now, okay? And you can see here, buy now, that if you want to buy one, the lowest they're going for that, right? Now, you go here to rarity.tools, and we can see, what was that, Gambling Apes? that they have him here ranked by rarity. You can even look them up to see which ones are which. But what we're going to come up here is the upcoming, because the same as for Cardano, you can look to see which projects are about to come out. Like these Cyber She News, they came out today. Let's see if they're still able to mint Cyber She News. Are they still available? Yeah, so the total mint has only been 2,400. You can you can mint one of these right now if you had Ethereum. But let's go to something cheaper. Let's let's do this. Pixel Meow. It's remaining, you know, nobody's getting these. 8,344, but if you want to mint one, come over to MetaMask. Oh, wow, the gas fee is $255 for something that's like $100, $52. We're going to reject that. <laughs> we are not going to spend $257 on gas fees for this. They are insane. So some projects that everybody are getting excited about in Ethereum, and if you can jump in, you can um, clean up. So the sevens came out today, but there was a bit of a problem where somebody was able to get a thousand of them in one wallet when they were supposed to not be able to do that so womp womp but the ones that people are really getting hype about are i mean some of these are good i'm gonna as i come through i'll tell you which ones uh cypher go here is their site Private sale, end time, whitelist only, mint cipher. Private sale, end time, whitelisted only, 23 hours. Yeah, I think cipher is like in a day or so. 
Um, it says on here the Wednesday at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So, yeah, Wednesday tomorrow, you can, it will be the public offering for these at point one. Ethereum, so you go here, look at their Twitter, and see that there are 15,000 people following. So it's going to probably be some people excited about this. So that's one. Video game dev squad is another one that's on Thursday, 0.07. You can try to get in on that collection. People, A lot of people like I think this Moon Boys look pretty dope myself. I thought that I was like, oh, that looks sweet. Let's see how that goes. Looking for the ones that people are really getting excited about. I thought this was pretty look nice. I mean, it depends on kind of what you like. At the end of the day, you're taking a bit of a gamble. Some of these, you buy them and they go up. I'll show you the seven in a second, how they're doing. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Crypto Dads. This is one of the ones right here. Crypto Dads and Guardians of the Metaverse. They're building games off this, and Crypto Dash just have a huge community. Like here, you'll see 16,000 followers on Twitter. Meta Guardians, 8,000. But any of these are, you know, Project uh, URS. Any of these are um, a gamble at the end of the day, but some things to think about. So. What was that one I was looking at and it said it looked like it was about ready to go today? Oh, so the seven. Yeah, let's talk about the seven. Let's go here to the seven. They dropped today, but it was a lot of gas wars happened in it. And then at the end of the day, um, so it dropped today at selling at uh, 0 0.07 Ethereum today at three o'clock. But like I said, somebody was able to do uh exploit of their contract and get a thousand of them and it was the gas wars are crazy but if you got one the floor price now the bottom ones are selling at 1.37 ethereum so from 0 0.07 ethereum to 1.39 ethereum in a day less than a day a couple hours so that's why people were hyped for it people got their sevens and now they're ready for them to show what they're going to look like, and then it'll be on and popping. So, oh, it's another one that's pretty dope. I want to show you guys. So, the sevens, and we showed you um, Crypto Dads and Meta Guardians, and this one's like a week or so away, but, oh, Nifty Riots. It looks pretty nice. So a lot of these have Twitter and discords and you can, you gonna let me buy? i buy one right now if you let me. Pre-sale instructions, what do you do? Oh, okay, I don't have an entry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got excited for a second. It's like maybe something was wrong, I don't know. But these are gonna probably do well too, guys. And, you know, we're thinking short-term and long-term. I'm thinking long-term for the most part, so. So, things to think about. Do some research on for yourself. And figure out how you can get in to fit in. Let's see how these Afro droids are doing if they have a my rarity. Uh. People selling them, for, putting them up for crazy prices. Well, look over here. Go ahead and punch out anybody if you are busy. I'm just now, this is probably my longest video. So. Oh, hey, you can get these for pretty cheap right now. Point two. get one of these before they start to if you think they may go up they got 12,000 of these let's see how big their community is and how you do that is I click on here go to about and then yeah I'm looking to see engagement so then yeah, not so much of a big not some people were talking about but not so much of a big um, following you know some of the other ones we saw were much bigger so Good hunting, everyone. With that said, I love you. You love yourself. And God loves us. And that's all that matters.